Hello guys. Welcome to the 8th episode of my HBM NTM Ultimate Survival Guide. In this episode I will show you how does the RBMK reactor work, and how you can build and operate it. The RBMK reactor is built using a bunch of columns each has its own function. But first let's understand what a flux is. Flux is the flow of neutrons, the higher the flux the more neutrons flow in that direction and the higher the heat. Now let's understand the usage of the columns, we will not consider the moderated and recent type columns. The structural column does not have any special uses, but it can transport heat. The fuel rod holds the reactor fuel. The control rods controls the flux that is flowing in the direction. For example you can limit the flux to 50% or to close the passage completely. These buttons used to interact with the control rods from the console, I will talk about this later. The steam channel takes water and heats it to steam. The fluid heater heats fluids. The tungsten carbide neutron reflector reflects the flux back to the direction it came from. The boron neutron absorber stops all the incoming flux. The graphite moderator slows down the incoming fast flux. The irradiation canal absorbs the incoming flux and enriches with radiation the item inside. The emergency freezer starts to cool down the reactor using cryogel when the temperature is too high so you can stop the reactor and prevent it from meltdown. So how do we going to operate this reactor? We will build a contraption that emits neutrons, the neutrons will heat up the reactor and turn the water into steam, and the steam will be turbined and produce energy. You can read more of this in the How To RBMK Guide book. The RBMK reactor uses the RBMK fuel rods as its fuel. The fuel rods have a lot of different details, I will explain the most important. The self-igniting property means that the fuel can ignite itself and start the reaction, the fuel rods without this property require a stream of neutrons upon them to ignite them. The flux function property shows the mathematical function of the flux emitted. The function type property explain the safety of the flux function, and its type. The temperature and the meltdown point is self-explanatory. Just don't let the fuel to melt. This is how you use the RBMK console. Place down a console, take your RBMK console linking device. Shift right click on the center of the reactor and now shift right click on the console. Now you can see the stats of your reactor remotely control the rod's rise level, and even urgently lower all the rods to stop the reactor at a critical situation using the AZ-5 button. I had built RBMK designs for expensive dangerous fuel rods, but we will not use them, instead we will use this simple 3x3 RBMK reactor design from Savage Vegeta Channel. This reactor can produce 1.13 million He per second for a long time and doesn't require your attention, you can leave the reactor and it will not explode. We will need one fuel rod, four steam channels and four tungsten carbide neutron reflectors. Place them like this. One fuel rod at the center, four neutron reflectors around the rod and four steam channels in the corners. Now dig three blocks deep hole under the reactor and connect all the steam channels with water ducts. I will leave the steam channels to fill with water so I don't have to waste time later. We need something that will take out the steam from the channels. It will be the RBMK fluid loader. 
just place it directly below the steam channels, and connect the fluid loaders with the ultra-dense steam ducts. Build the four steam turbine steam decompressor and the auxiliary cooling tower so the low pressure steam decompressed back to water and connected back to the water ducts. Don't forget to cover it to prevent radiation leaking. Congratulations, you have built the RBMK reactor. In the future I will show you a bigger reactor design that uses the irradiation channel. Thanks for watching. Sorry for this a bit complicated explanation, I did my best.